Hey there, my fellow intellectuals. How are you doing tonight? Tonight, as you can tell from the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about my physics master's degree. So you can see it right here. I got my master's degree in physics from the University of California, Irvine, back in December of 2019. And I wanted to take this video as an opportunity to actually properly acknowledge it because I don't think I really have done that on this channel. And I also want to talk about a stigma that is in academia, which is mastering out of PhD programs. And what that means is that there are some programs like UCIs that you can only apply to get a PhD. So you cannot just apply and say you want to get a master's degree. And if you want to get a master's degree, you have to go through the PhD program to get it. And so there are um, no ceremonies actually for people who just get master's degrees in physics. So for example, I did not walk across the stage to get this diploma. So I want to get into sort of the stigma of, of all that and, um, and also just talk about my own experiences with getting this master's degree. And I just want to say up front that I'm not mastering out of my program. I am going to continue and try and get my PhD, but I do want to talk about that stigma still. So first off, my own experience is that the physics master's degree is actually the degree that I thought I would stop at when I first got into physics about six to seven years ago. And I wanted to be a high school physics teacher at the time because I had a really good high school physics teacher who really just opened up my eyes to physics and did an amazing job of teaching it to me and inspired me to go and learn more about it in college. And so when I decided I wanted to switch my uh, major from mechanical engineering to pure physics, I thought that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to become a high school physics teacher and you know inspire other students like my own teacher did. And then the following year and the year after that, I got into a couple of research experiences, realized that I really liked doing research, and then realized that I wanted to you know, pursue graduate studies, but continue in academia and try and be a professor at a university in physics. So when I made that switch to get a you know PhD in physics, getting a master's degree became more of like a checkpoint along the way to getting a PhD as opposed to being its own sort of accomplishment in its own right. And I kind of want to, you know, change that mindset of mine and really acknowledge this degree for you know, all the, the time and effort I spent into it, because when I first got this degree a couple of months ago, you know, I, I was very happy, obviously, but in some ways it didn't really hit me, you know, how much time and effort had gone into this degree and, you know, what a big deal it really is because, you know, I, I had to take several graduate level courses. I can't remember how many were required for this degree, but to, to get this degree, I had to essentially... Um, I had two choices. I had either I could either take you know all the normal classes you would need plus do the qualifying examination, or I could write a master's thesis. But I think because I was on the PhD program and I was going to have to do a PhD thesis anyway, it was like well, you know, and I have to do the qualifying exam anyway. It was like well, I'm just going to go for that route because that's just the easiest. You know, that just goes along with the path of doing a PhD. So I've talked about the qualifying exam I've t um, a, a couple of times before on this channel and how hard and stressful that was. And I don't think I've gone into how hard some of the graduate classes were at UCI in physics, but they were hard. Like they were really hard and they were on subjects that I had seen as an undergraduate. So it wasn't like I was seeing some of this stuff for the very first time. It was just at, at a higher advanced level and it was challenging, very, very intellectually challenging. My first year in graduate school was very difficult uh, because I had a TA, I had to take my own courses, I had to prepare for the qualifying exam, and I also had to worry about finding, you know, a research advisor to supervise my PhD because that was that was sort of expected of you to to do um, before the first year was over to find someone who could supervise, you know, your PhD. And I was lucky enough to find you know, my, my current advisor, but I think it was just a lot of uncertainty that first year. And so all of that turmoil, all of that struggle, all of those, you know, sleepless nights I had my first year and going through those, you know, tough, tough classes, I think really, um, 
helps me really really appreciate and acknowledge the amount of work that went into this degree that, like I said before, was the degree I thought I would stop at with my physics education uh, so many years ago. So, you know, even though that this degree right here isn't the stopping point for me at this point in my career, I can't deny that it took a lot of work and a lot of effort and is a big deal because I don't, you know, I don't come from a family of academics. Um, you know, there's no one in my family who did physics before me and no one who has a, you know, a master's degree in physics. And so to be the sort of first person in my family to have not one, but two degrees in physics now, um, you know, feels like a really big deal and a big accomplishment uh, in my life. And I'm really proud of that. And, um, you know, I want to keep going with my uh, physics education, obviously. I want to pursue um, my PhD, and I've already advanced to candidacy, as you guys know, so I'm a PhD candidate now. But I want to talk a little bit about the stigma now of mastering out of PhD programs. Now, what do I mean by mastering out? Well, if you leave with your master's degree, um, there's, there's sometimes this... Uh, the stigma or this sort of sense of disappointment at individuals who leave with their master's degree because it's like, oh, you know, they didn't complete the program, they didn't finish the PhD. And, you know, I think that is, you know, one thing toxic and another thing just not productive and not really considerate of that individual's, you know, goals in life. Because, you know, not everyone needs to do a PhD in physics to accomplish what they want to do. I mean, obviously, I wanted to do, you know, um, high school physics education at one point, And, you know, I didn't, I wouldn't need a PhD for that to, to be good at it. And my high school physics teacher, I think, um, I think either had a, he either had a bachelor's or a master's degree. Um, I couldn't remember which one, but like, like he didn't have a PhD in physics is what I'm trying to say. And, you know, he was doing a really amazing job teaching physics to, to us high school students. So I think that there are a multitude of career options for people who have master's degrees in physics, you know, whether it's doing something physics related or something outside of that, um, that's really um, up to them, but it's very flexible. That's the thing about physics. It's just super flexible. Like whether you have a bachelor's in physics or a master's in physics or a PhD in physics, you're a very flexible person because you know how to problem solve and you know how to, you know, take on really, really hard problems and break them down and solve them. So I think in that regard, I don't, I don't think there's any point in, um, there's no better word to say it, but I guess shaming people for leaving a PhD program early, because I think people sometimes just realize, you know, they don't want to have a PhD or they don't need a PhD and they don't, you know, want to spend five plus years of their life doing something that they don't think is going to help them in the long run of their life. And I don't think they should be, um, you know, uh, looked down upon in any way for that. I think it's great in some aspects because they realize that there's, that they have, there's a career option for them that they can get to sooner that they don't have to spend, you know, five or more years of their life to, to reach. And I think, like, you know, having no sort of ceremonies for master students in these sort of programs also sort of feeds into that, um, into that, that stigma in some ways, because, you know, like if you decide you want to leave with your master's degree, you know, and during a PhD program and you don't get a, you know, ceremony, not to say the ceremony is supposed to sort of, you know, be the, the justification or the, the reason why you're doing all this, but it's like, it's like not getting any ceremony or getting any acknowledgement that you did this other than the piece of paper mailed to you or picked up at the registrar's office. It just seems a little bit um, sad and I guess unfair in some ways to 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 do that to individuals who, who have worked hard. I mean, like I said, I thought it was pretty hard to earn this degree and you know, I'm not getting any ceremony for that, but I'm going for my PhD and I'm gonna be having a ceremony for that. So you know, I do think that there needs to be more understanding overall for people who realize that, you know, doing a PhD is just not what not for them and they don't want to, you know, waste time on something that is not going to help them achieve their ultimate life goal. And I think if we all have a better understanding of that, then I think, you know, it's just going to create a better um, environment for graduate students. So, you know, I just think that 
getting a master's degree in physics is a you know really big accomplishment, whether it is something that is your end goal or is something along the way to your end goal, and I think should be acknowledged and celebrated for um, for its own merit. So I hope that made sense. I hope um, this video helped you understand a little bit about my own thoughts on my own master's degree and what I think about you know the stigma of getting a master's degree and leaving with it during a PhD program. And I hope you will uh, learn from this like I have in some ways and uh, hope you'll tune in for more videos in the future. So take it easy, guys.